What's the most dangerous feedback you've got to your films? What I guess, I guess like most filmmakers just might get like a blogger writing nasty things about them on IMDb, oh. but as soon as you do something as, oh, I was, as potent I, as this. I, I mean, I get death threats, and I get them, I believe, from the henchmen of the most powerful men exposed in the act of killing. Adi and his family in The Look of Silence have not received death threats, and that's something very important and, of course, also a huge relief. And so I do receive those threats, but I wanted to say in response to your question that what is the most dangerous, what is the most dangerous uh, feedback that I get it's not that. It's not the death threats. Uh, and the death threats are pretty conditional. They usually take the form of do not come back to Indonesia or else. Uh, the most dangerous feedback comes from very often Americans, but people all over, all over the world, who refuse to see the perpetrators through Adi's eyes and refuse to see them as human beings and in a moment of self-deception say these men are monsters and have nothing to do with us. It's self-deception because not only, uh, I mentioned, because the, the, atrocity, the atrocities which go into oil palm production, something that's in our shampoo, our skin cream, our ice cream, our crisps, we, you know that this is not unique to the production of oil palm. If you look, at, look down at yourself for a moment and at your, at your legs and your arms and you think of the clothes that are protecting your skin right now and covering you. You know that almost all of it's produced in sweatshops where workers lack basic health and safety protections because they're too afraid or too intimidated to form unions. You know that, every, that all of the electronics we're using to run this session are produced in similar ways. And if these men, if the men in my film who work now today as, and their protégés who, who are goons in Indonesia are monsters, then they're our monsters. They're working for us to create that fear, which is an integral part, in the, a key, an integral part of our global economy and an integral part of the consumer paradise or hell, depending on your feelings about it, in which we live. So I think that's actually, I think that sense that this is just a window onto a far off world that has little, and, little to do with us and that we'd rather not look at is the most dangerous reaction to the film.